Hello everyone, my name is Shona, and today I will be your tutor, and we are going to learn about cropping, the timeline, and artboards in Photoshop. So, let's get started. So, let's full screen again, and back that. Flip horizontal and flip vertical, I will also, there's two ways to do this. The same way in, in Procreate you have um, the transforms, we can flip something, um, horizontally or, vert or vertically. Um, Photoshop also has that under transforms and you also have under can um, canvas where you can flip it horizontally and flip vertically. The cool thing though is you can actually put a keyboard shortcut to do that manually instead of like, having to go up to the option bar to get it done. Um, canvas information is also in the same spot so with that let's go and look at what that is. Okay close that out and let's bring this guy back up just so I have something I can transform and move around and everything okay so crop and resize crop and resize is right here so you can crop it this way that way all that lovely stuff um, and of course you can undo it control Z or command Z um, do the ratios by um, preset right here and I'm probably sure I'm pretty sure you can put like a crop reset preset as it says right here so you can actually crop it exactly the way you want you have the different options here um, you can put rule of thirds right now the grid is at rule of thirds you can put grid or diagonal which is so cool triangle and golden ratio which is interesting because it's usually like the spiral and inside. There we go. There's a golden ratio spiral. There we go. Um, but we just keep with rule of thirds for now because it's cool. But there you have that. That's where your crop and resize is. Um, so let's see. Let's go to animation assist. I'm happy with my canvas. I made it to size on purpose. So if you go to window and scroll down to where it says timeline, you can see here the option to create a video timeline and you'll also once you do that you'll get like um, an animation um, tab that comes up right here and you'll also be able to switch to the storyboard side of the timeline instead and that's how you want to that's how you get to animate in Photoshop okay um, let's see right now I don't want the timeline so let's get rid of it go away I don't want you Go away. Fine. I will manually close you because you don't want to listen to me. Okay. Okay. Like I said, the page assist. Um, that is technically what you would consider the artboards. Ah, there it is. The artboard tool. It's on the move tool. I knew there was a little option. So let's zoom out for a sec. You can do this and match the size the best as possible as you can there there's your artboard now you can add another one here another one here and that would be your page assist and you can see over here it changed from board It changed from regular layers to artboard, and you can notice it has different options in here. So you can add like new layers to this. Let's move this here for a sec. There, layer two. I'll go under artboard three. That's layer three. Okay, and you can do different things with it. Now, I obviously don't want artboard, so I'm gonna go back to my history and remove it. There we go. Pastry is your best friend. Okay, so that's how you would get the page assist. That is how you, if you wanted to create like um, PDFs, if you like, and you wanted to put different um, images onto different pages and actually create like a PDF from there, that is how you would do it. I hope you could follow along. The next topic will be about rulers, guides, and grids in Photoshop. I hope it helps. See you on the next one. Bye.